milestones of the century. On December 23, 1918, past the Statue of Liberty, sailed the first ships of the returning doughboys, fulfilling the battle cry, Heaven, Hell, or Hoboken, by Christmas. Vessels of all types steamed out to greet the transports whose decks and riggings were black with waving men. They swung into the harbor that went wild in the proud, jubilant welcome. Eager doughboys stepped onto a soil that more than 126,000 of their comrades would never set foot on again, for they lay behind in the gutted fields of Europe. But for those come home, there were bands and parading nurses. There was Black Jack Pershing himself. He led them over, and he led them back. In Washington, troops in orderly array swept down Pennsylvania Avenue. Through a victory arch, horse-drawn caissons went rolling along in final triumph before the motor trucks stole their glory away. The parade was reviewed by President Wilson, whose 14 points had done much to bring the peace. For these fighting men, war was over. But for the kids in short pants who watched them, it would come again. In New York, flanked by balloons and columns, a mammoth arch was built just for the occasion. Starting here, the homecoming parade moved up Fifth Avenue before a crowd of two million. The latest model automobiles joined in, representing a rising industry in which many of these returning men would soon find employment. nurses passed blossoms to the brave. For the nation, this was to be victory's sweetest hour. Ahead lay the peace conference, prohibition, and the rip-roaring twenties. But those are other milestones. The lines of marchers came on and on until the crowd could contain itself no longer, but surged forward to engulf the ranks of happy boys returned. Then, perfect strangers found themselves in each other's arms and there was dancing in the streets. That was over 40 years ago. The curtain lowers on an honored memory, a towering milestone of the century.